So we will be like God angels, angels of God. If we live our life like Jesus. Or you will be like a fallen angel, the Lucifer. If you live your life the way you think. If you believe in the word, you will do every word. You will live as per the word. You will live like Jesus. Jesus lived the word. So I believe in the word. I live on the word of God. Meaning of belief is I live on the word of God. I live like the word of God. I live like Jesus Christ. Word of God is Jesus. So, it is your decision. God has given you the free will. Please uh, type a prayer or healing and send me the request and uh, join me on the live so that you get healed today right here on the live and God will get the glory. So, God has shown us who He is by creating this everything. So, God has put us temporarily on this planet Earth. So, it is your decision to go back to God, where God longs you to be. Or, otherwise, the second choice is to the place where Lucifer lives. There are two permanent places. One is where God lives and one is where Lucifer lives. These two permanent places, they are never ending, they are forever. One place is called heaven, where you will experience the goodness of God. And one place is where the fire is burning, the fire of sulfur is burning. And the worms will eat you. Check these two words on the Bible. So it is your decision where you need to land. So when the astronauts go, they decide and go where they want to land, either on moon or Mars, wherever they want to land, they decide and go. So you need to decide now where you want to land. Do you want to land in heaven or do you want to land where the Lucifer is living? There is no other place. There are only two choices. So, because you are breathing, because you are alive, you still have the free will. Your free will is not gone until you die. Maybe your partner, your lover or your parents are forcing you the way you must live. As per their belief, they want you to live. As per their expectations, they want you to live. But this is not life. Our life is free. Not bounded to our parents or to our lovers or partners, whatever. Our life on earth is free. We do not have to give account to anybody on this planet earth. That is called free will. You have the right by birth to choose what you want, to live the way you want. Because you are born in certain family and to certain parents, they cannot force you to live and believe what they do. No. Because at the end of the day, if they do not live the life to go to heaven, then you know where you are going to end with them. You are also going to end with them where the Lucifer lives. So if their life is not holy, if they are not like Jesus, if they do not lay their hands and cast out the demons and heal the sick, then you know that you will definitely land where the Lucifer lives. So it is your free will, it is your choice, your decision. Where you want to go. So still you have time in your head. And do not be late. Because you cannot repent after you stop breathing. Repentance is now. So please say with me. Everybody who are listening to me and want to go to heaven, want to be healed and uh, don't want to fall sick, don't want to go through suffering, pain, trouble, fights, addictions, please repeat after me. Jesus, please repeat by faith. Jesus, I accept you as the Lord, God and Savior of my life. I believe in the Holy Trinity, one God, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Please repeat after me. Jesus, I believe that you were born, born of a virgin. You were suffered under Pontius Pilate. You were crucified, died for my sins and you became a substitute for me. And you were buried and you rose back to life in three days. Thank you, Jesus for everything you have done for me. I love you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, I love you. Please, Holy Spirit, help me to grow in the knowledge of God and to understand the scriptures in the New Testament books of Mark, Matthew, Luke and John. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for Jesus Christ, whom you gave to me as a substitute, where 
I would have been gone into the hell. But because of Jesus, you are making me eligible to come back to you in heaven. So by the authority and power given to me by Jesus, please repeat with me. I command to the spirit of unbelief, the spirit which led Adam and Eve to eat the forbidden fruit and commit the sin. I command this spirit of unbelief to leave me right now and go and fall into the sea. In the name of Jesus Christ and never return back to me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Holy Spirit, please help me to believe in the word. And uh, thank you, Holy Spirit, for the accompanying signs and wonders. Amen. If anybody needs any prayer or healing, please type in the chat. Prayer or healing, type these words and then send me the request. This is to save my time of getting wasted. Because other people who are on live, they also send a request to join their life together. So we have maximum 120 years and every day we have 24 hours. But even I am earning my daily bread just like you. So we have a couple of hours to help people to repent. And what is repentance? The meaning of repentance is to renew our mind and to align it to the word of God. So, when you repent, you say, now that I believe in God. That means, you are doing what the word of God says. So, this is so easy. There is no effort. Even if you are lying on the bed, you are breathing your last, still you can be healed and you can come back to normal living. You will get your health back. You will be fit and fine. I am here on the live for more than an hour now. If anybody needs any healing or prayer, please send me the request and do join me on the live. This live and whenever I come to live, I only come for healing and prayers. And uh, when the person is coming on live, that itself is becoming the preaching and teaching for the people who are on the live and who are hearing the conversation. So I purposely do not come to preach. All my sessions are only for healing and deliverance and prayers. That's it. You can do self-preaching when you read the Bible. That is called preaching. You are getting the knowledge of the word of God. When you read by yourself, that is the preaching for you. Nobody needs to preach you. There are no need of pastors or preachers or priests. There is no need of anybody. And mostly now in this day and age. Because in the language you speak, there is a translation of Bible. So even if there is no church, imagine there is not even a single church in the world. Is it, it is okay. Because there is a Bible. And the translation is there in your language. Definitely, I don't think any language is left behind. So, you can pick up a copy. Everybody knows that Bible is the word of God. So, this much propaganda is there. That Bible is the word of God. So, anybody can pick up the Bible and get self-preaching. I am here to show the power of the Bible. I am not here to preach the Bible. I am here to show the power of the Bible. That Bible is powerful. The Bible got the power. The word of God got the power. I am here to prove to you. I am here to testify what I know. I am here to show you. I am here to teach you how the Bible, how the word of God works. So put it, I am here to show you to put it into practice. And this is called that you believe in God. That you believe in Jesus. That you are a Christian. Christian means Christ-like. What Christ did, you are doing. You are like Christ. So I am here to show you that I am a Christian, I am Christ-like. What Christ did, I am doing it now. How Christ is healing, how Christ healed, Christ is healing the same way now through me. So please, if you need any healing, any prayers, please do join on the live. My name is Tiago. I am not a preacher, I am not a pastor. I am not anybody, I am just a common person like you.